Okay, so how are you guys all doing? For all that you don't know me, I'm uh, Jordy at Curry Fusion. This video is kind of a carry on from the planter box stump thing that uh, I was curving yesterday. So I was curving a planter box, like a driftwood piece stump, root stump, and buddy wants uh, my buddy Gordy wants a dragonfly for the to put onto the root stump. So this is thick copper. I don't know what gauge it is. And uh, shout out to Larry on Vancouver Island. His brother does the copy. It's uh, two brothers, one vision. But Larry, I am incorrect. I tried cutting this stuff with snips. It does cut with snips. But as you can see, how it's fairly thick, right? But the sheet of a two by the two foot by one and a half foot sheet of this stuff was like a hundred bucks. Okay, so I kept my pattern, right? Paper pattern. I just <coughs> excuse me. I just cut this out with my uh, die grind with my uh, grinder with a zip cut disc. So I'm going to redo the patterns on here and cut out the wings better. Well, whatever. I'm just going to cut out the wings better. You don't need to see how I'm going to do that. Um, I'm not going to show you shaping this thing. I'll I'll show you. Okay, whatever. This video is just going to be called uh, Jordy. Jordy does. Usually it's Jordy gets. But Jordy does because last night I stayed up till two in the morning watching YouTube videos on copper and soldering copper. I'm no soldering pro, but I, I got an idea. So let's call this video Jordy's idea. And I'll tell you about that later after I get these wings cleaned up and stuff like that. I'm not going to show you guys how to clean up the edges and stuff like that with just little burrs. I got this little diamond burr. Maybe that will work. I'll have to figure it out. Okay, so we'll be back. Okay, okay, I'll just show you guys a bit here how I uh, trim this up with this. I, th I thought it, the snips is easier to use than the uh, the machine. Okay, so there you go. I cleaned them all up with the snips. And now I'm going to run along the edges with my, uh, with a metal working burr. Okay. They're not perfect. They're not perfect. The exact same size. I don't give up. <laughs> okay, guys. So I kind of got them roughed out, shaped a bit. So all I'm doing, this makes sense to me. Does it make sense to you? Here's a metal working burr. I'm just going to run around and smooth the edges with this uh, good old metal working burr. Copper metal working burr. Copper metal working burr. Makes sense to me. I don't know. Jordy does. Actually, guys, I changed my mind. I'm going to use one of these stones. You know one of those stones you get in those Dremel kits, whatever, right? It works better. So I'll get this done with the stone. Okay, guys, here you can see I got the copper. Uh, yeah, it's sanded. I've not uh, done it yet, okay? You can see sand marks on there. But anyways, you can see I got the shape done. So now what my plan is... I stayed up till 2 in the morning last night watching YouTube videos trying to find out what I want to do. I gotta explain this so it's not confusing. So you can see I got the veins here with the solder and the copper wire. Okay? This is a stained glass wing. So what I want to do, and I was just talking to my buddy Pete about it because he's knowledgeable at this kind of stuff. You guys got friends that are knowledgeable at this stuff, reach out to them and ask them. But what I want to do is I want to make veins in these wings too. So what I wanted to do, what I researched last night, and any copper pros, like, uh, you know, you, you guys are probably going to tell me I'm doing it all wrong. Well, I'm doing it all wrong because you don't have any videos up on this because nobody's probably ever thought of it. That's probably why. So keep your hater comments to yourself. Thank you very much. So anyways, I want to make veins in here. So I thought about carving out a little channel in here you can see from my lines like a little channels and then soldering inside the channels okay but I couldn't find any videos on YouTube so I got this extra piece of copper so all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna carve out a little channel in here I think I'm gonna use because I want the channel to be rough because then the copper will stick really good too right I got those cut saw burrs. I'll hook one up and I'll carve a ch channel. Not the aggressive extreme ones. Carve a little channel in this. 
put some flux in there and see how well it takes. See if it, see if the copper wants to run off or what it wants to do. Because first guys, also too, I gotta burn these, these wings because you get all the wicked blues and purples and red colors inside the wings too when you burn them. So if this channel thing doesn't work with the solder, then I'm just gonna use like Pete suggested, the wire, copper wire. Okay, and I'll solder it in. So, but I want to see if this works first, because that's what it's about, is trying new things. I'm probably doing it 100% wrong, but I don't give a crap. You don't learn if you don't try. Okay, guys, I did see a lady making jewelry. She used, uh, like, liquid paper on the outside here, so the liquid paper would stop the solder from traveling. But I don't have any liquid paper, and I just don't care that much to go get any. And it would probably be a real bitch to clean off because she had some pickle formula or something. Put it in a pickler to clean it off. But I don't have that here. So I got this um, ducting, metal ducting tape. This is really sticky stuff, guys. The stickiest tape I have here. So I figured I'd put that on there. See if I can put the flux in there and run a bead in there. And then I can pull the tape off. I don't know. Trying it out. Okay, guys. So I got this uh, solder here. I think it's 60-40 sort of they use for stained glass. I don't know guys, I'm no pro. You have to have the flux. This is like liquid stuff. I already got some poured in here. Then I already got, I also got this paste flux. So I might try this paste flux because the flux, you guys, you have to have this flux to make it stick to the copper. Don't ask me how it works. It's some kind of acid. It cleans the copper or something, okay? So you see oil mixture and stained flux. This is the paste flux. So I think I'm going to try the paste, paste flux and put it, i got this little tiny brush and try and keep it inside there. We'll see. Let's try it out. Also guys, I want to show you, I'm just using this thin tip on my, uh, what's this? This is one of those uh, soldering guns. You get different sized tips, so I'm just using the thin tip. Don't know. Trying her out. So let's put the flux in. I haven't used this flux, I just opened it up and look at all that. Look at all that stuff taken out of there. I bought it brand new. This looks like somebody used some and returned it and they didn't bother check it at the store. Oh well. Okay, so let's just get some in here. Make sure you get your flux in. Yeah, then we'll put some. I got a little thing here too. Okay, it's in there. So let's try her out, eh? Let's just give her. Okay, we'll zoom in here. Get it on camera. Okay. Not even sticking in there. Oh yeah. Okay, so hmm. Maybe the copper needs to get hotter. Let's try. Let's wipe that off. And try it with the liquid flux. Maybe the copper needs to get hotter, I think. Okay, so. Could be oxidized too and I need to clean off more of the oxidization okay so we're gonna have to change plans here okay so I sanded inside here I carved another couple channels and I sanded there to get rid of the oxidization I do have another piece you know and guys it's hard to control the lines when you're using those carvers I don't have enough patience for this crap so anyways 
let's try it now. So um, I think prep is I think prep is probably your biggest thing when you're doing something like this, okay? So let's get the stuff in there, the flux in there. I put a bigger tip on my uh, I put a bigger tip on my soldering iron. Okay? Okay, so see the bigger tip on here now? Let's try this out. Yeah, I think the solar, I think the I think the copper needs to be hotter, so I don't friggin know. Okay guys, so I think this the copper needs to be hotter, so I went and found these little butene torches. I don't even know if there's butene left in here, so I'm going to heat up the copper with pliers, the back of it, and I don't want it to warp, and then I'll put it on this piece of you wood and try it over again. Well, it's lifting the tape up off there, that's for sure. Let's try down here too. Turn off. Okay, let's try it again. Let's try it again. Hoo, hoo, ha. Okay, flux. Put your flux in here. Flux just burns right off, doesn't even stay on there. Let's just pour some on. <laughs> okay, let's see how this works now. Way too much flux. I know that. You don't have to tell me that. Okay, so this video is called How Jordy Makes a Mess. I should have had this copper, uh, like, nailed into place so it doesn't move. That's how you do it. Okay, so let's uh, give her a try over here again. This, uh, I don't think this tip is big enough for this solder. Maybe that might be the problem. Let's clean it off. Okay, anyways, I've had enough of this bullshit. I'm gonna I'm gonna snap in a second. Okay, guys, so I'm ready to say the hell with it all together. I really am. So, but anyways, what I'm gonna do now? I can't find my big torch head, so I got these little butane torches. Okay, turn on, lock in there. So now I'm gonna try and hopefully this heats it up to get that color in there, get those different colors in the copper. See that? So I don't have any more butane. So I hope this probably won't work and I'm going to have to go to the store and get more butane. So you see those different colors in there?
So anyways, I'll get this bullshit done and I'll be back. Okay, you can see I got the first one done there now. So let's see if we have enough uh, butane for the second one. Okay, so you guys can kind of see the colors. I'll get this finished now. Okay, sweet. Now you guys can really see the... Oh, it's still hot. Now you guys can really see the colors in these wings. It's my first time doing it, so I don't think that should be black, but it doesn't matter, right? It adds character. So I got both the wings done. And um, yeah, so now I got this uh, copper wire. And I want to see if I can get this on to make the uh, veins. Oh boy. Okay, you guys, so you kind of see I got that one first soldered on, but I need to clean it up. Um, I switched to my bigger solder gun. It heats up a lot better. I'm just letting it charge. But one thing I just did notice that uh, I passed 20,000 subscribers last night. So I just want to say a big thank you to everybody for all the support. And uh, trust me, I support you just as much as you support me. So uh, let's get this bullshit done. Okay. So uh, sorry about that noise, guys. It's my fan. I got a blow enough cold air in this room. It's pretty hot, right? So it's summertime. So let's see if we can get this other one on here. Actually, let's fix this one up first. Let's keep on putting more flux on. So I gotta make sure I'm filming this. This is probably bores most of you guys, but whatever, don't watch it. Oh yeah, that's way better. Way more heat. She on. She on. Okay, so Get it where it wants to go. I'm not trying to make this perfect, guys, but I'm trying to make it decent. Okay, lots of flux on there. Uh oh, where's the solder? So just kind of dab your thing on there, get some solder on your thing, and I want to make it tight there, right? So. hot. I needed to get the copper hot first. My mistake. Yeah, put a dab on there first. Get that, that uh, solder on there. There you go, she's on. Um, I think I wanna heat up along this edge and see if I can get a copper bead along here. So let's see, don't forget your flux, you guys. Okay, so we'll put the flux on. Let's see if this works. Yeah, I guess it did. Sweet. Just gives it more character. Okay, one down. It only took about two hours. Another one to go. Jeez, boy. Okay, guys, so the wings are done. Oh, it's a lot of work. I only got one couple little burns, so yeah, that's going to 
blister out tomorrow or whatever. No big deal. So uh, now I got this stuff. I've had it from before. It's a uh, solder patina because this stuff's not, those, that solder there is not going to stay shiny for very long. It will dull up right away. So another thing too is we lost all those colors from the uh, burning. You know all those different colors in there. Lost it all from because the uh, flux took it away. Flux took it all away. So live and let learn. But it looks nice this way anyways. So now what I'm going to do is uh, put this stuff on, this black patina. And I did kind of hit the copper here with some solder too. So it will all kind of go black. So let's get that patina on. Okay, so I've been watching, I've, I mentioned in some of my other videos when I was doing the stained glass. I was watching this, these elder people, they got a channel, romp or something with the stained glass. And they just pour the patina on here because you got to use lots of it, right? See, see how it's already going black, everything. I didn't think the copper would go black. Maybe that's uh, whatever. Okay, so I guess it patinaed the copper too. <laughs> oh, I'm sure it will burn away after it gets weathered anyways. So yeah. <laughs> okay so guys, so I gotta say when um, I put that patina on there. I thought it was only going to affect the solder and not the copper, but uh, yeah, so it made the whole thing black. But it just, this just goes to show you, you gotta, you gotta learn, right? So I was thinking, oh frick, the whole thing's black. It looks like shit. What a waste of time. I should have just goddamn used metal and done it with metal. But so what I did is I rushed it to the bathroom sink, ran it under warm water, got my sandpaper, and sanded all the copper back, right? And I even got some of the lead color back too. So I have this saying about, um, well, I speak for myself. I'm a shitty artist and I always try to make things look uh, aged. So now this look a looks aged. <laughs> but I actually like it better. You know, Gordy's a man. He lives on his own there. He doesn't want some girly looking uh, uh, dragonfly anyway. So I think it's, I think it actually turned out even better. What do you guys think? I think it did. I think it's cool. I don't think I'm going to have enough time to. You see some marks there. Some deeper marks. That was for my grinder. No big deal, right? Um, I don't think I'm going to have time to finish this video today. Because I'm running out of time here. And i got to carve this dragonfly. So I will be going back to his thing tomorrow to finish it up. His uh, stump. i got to carve a wood spirit in it. He wants me to carve another thing on the end of the stump for the garden. So I'm going to quickly blast off this uh, dragonfly. It doesn't need to be nothing crazy. It's already got crazy wings. Gordy wasn't expecting something like this. So um, I'm going to carve this out. I'll put it together tonight, I hope. And uh, I'll be able to show you guys this tomorrow in tomorrow's video. So I hope you're all well. It just goes to show you guys when you make a fuck up, there's ways to fix it. You know, if you're doing a wood spirit, your, your nose of your thin is too thin, carve deeper make it thicker when you carve deeper so say it's it's you think it's done it's this thin but if you carve it deeper carve it thicker when you carve deeper right just carve deeper guys and um open your minds when you're doing art and definitely if you if you think you're going to be rich becoming an artist from just starting <laughs> good luck may the force be with you i hope it happens to you but may the force be with you so we'll be doing we'll be showing this dragonfly tomorrow take it easy everybody